choices you make have a direct impact on the condition of your life. Let me explain. You make choices every day. And I'm just going to focus on some attempted to swear. So then you can write on this day, swear. And it's like something you write on your life. Maybe sometimes people are tempted to steal. And they are tempted to be disobedient. They are tempted to follow things that are wrong. Okay. Then you write all these kinds of things on your life. It is the things that are influencing the condition of your heart. And the more you write, and the more you do, the more you are influencing your life. And in the end, many people, when you look at their life, they are writing, making bad choices, and it looks like a mess. And the devil comes to you and say, what are you? This is how your life looks like. And you are tempted also just to, to, te to te tear it apart and just to ruin it and to throw it away. Many people throw their lives away. And I want to challenge you today. How does your life look like? The Bible says, the Bible teaches us in Proverbs 4 verse 23 Keep thy heart with all diligence for out of it are the issues of life. The Bible challenges us and by saying that your heart is very, very important and you should keep it. You should keep close watch to the condition of your heart. This reminds me of a time we were going to, we were at Mozambique and we, were at, we had an outreach there. And the people, one evening, they just stole our sound system and everything, and we had great damage that, that day. But when we went back, every night we had watch. We were sitting outside with a, with a light and with coffee and chips and whatever just to keep you awake, and with a torch. And we were just torching all around, looking keeping watch on the vehicles and on the trailer and on the sound system and everything. Because we want to take great care that nobody comes and steal our stuff again. And the Bible teaches us that you must do the same with your life. That you must keep thy heart with all diligence. That you must take great care at the condition of your heart. At the condition of your life. With the choices you make. Why? Why is this so important? Because the Bible also teaches that God sees everything. That nothing is hidden from God. It says in Hebrews 4 verse 13. And there is no creature hidden from his sight. But all things are naked and open to the eyes of him to whom we must give account. One day, every one of us will stand in front of God and we will have to give account for the condition of our life, of the, for the choices you make. And many of you sitting here, I know, you can have a great, you can put on your blazer and you can put on your tie you can look good, be quiet and be disciplined. But what is happening even in the private even the things you are hiding from your parents or even from the school, the things you know are in your heart, it's happening in your mind. It is things you are trying to, to hide. But the Bible says nothing. You can hide nothing from God. There is no creature hidden from His sight. But all things are naked and open to the eyes of Him to whom we must give account. And I want to ask you, maybe you, you know the gospel, maybe you read your Bible, but do you really know why Jesus Christ had to die on the cross? Do you really know why? Because that the blood of Jesus Christ can wash your sins away. 
It's not about going to church and reading your Bible and trying to live this good life and trying to please God. But your heart is still in the condition of sin and pollution. You know this morning what's the condition of your life. You can't make, I know at school you, you have a badge, you know, if you are a, a leader or something like that, you get a badge. And many people think that Christianity works the same. They can just put a badge on their t-shirt or on a blazer. And they, it's just something you have to wear. I want to say to you this morning, no. It is something that must go deeper. It must go even to the very core of your life, the very core of your being, your heart. I, some of you who have swimming pools, will know that if you want to test the water to see what you must do, you know, if you must throw chloride in or HH powder or whatever, you have this little box. And you take a sample of the water and you put some drops in and it changes color. I can't remember what the color it changes in, but the color it changes in will indicate what you must do with the water. If you must, what you must throw into the swimming pool to make quite clear and bright again. And I want to say to you that God also comes to you in your life and He tests your heart. He comes and tests you. The Bible says in Psalms 139 verse 23 and 24, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my anxieties and see if there is any wicked way in me. And lead me in the way everlasting. Have you, do you have the confidence this morning to say to God, test me, test my life, search me, search my heart, and see if there may be a way, a wicked way, that leads to hell. We're we going to say it straight because we live in evil times. That if you live a wicked way, the Bible says that way leads to the pit of hell. But there's another way, a way that leads to life. And the way you live your life is, will reveal that. Now, what are you thinking? What are you thinking of your life? Are you thinking I'm right with God? The Bible says, Matthew 5 verse 9, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Let us think this morning that whatever you have done, whatever sin you have committed, whatever skeleton you are trying to, to hide in the closet, whatever it may be, God sees and God knows. But God is also calling today. And He's calling to you with the message of and he's saying, whatever you have done, whatever it may be, the blood of Jesus Christ can cleanse us from all sin. Whatever the condition of your heart and your life may be, you can close your eyes and say, Lord, may the blood of Jesus Christ come and wash me clean. Because the Bible says, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Don't, don't, don't be a fool. Don't think you can fool God with, a, with some mask, with some, just a good presenting life, while God knows the condition of the deepest parts of your heart. And you also know this, this morning, because the Holy Spirit is faithful to reveal you. How do you look like inside?